Former Formula One world champion Nicky Lauda has died at the age of 70. The Austrian was one of the best known figures in motor racing and won three world titles during his racing career. Nicky Lauda was one of Formula One's biggest names during the sports heyday of the 1970s and 80s. Born in 1949, the Austrian began his driving career in 1971. He won his first world title four years later with Ferrari. 1976, though, would prove the defining year of Lauda's life. He'd harboured grave concerns about the safety of the Nürburgring circuit that year and urged his fellow drivers to boycott the race. He was, however, voted down. And two laps in, Lauda crashed into a wall, his Ferrari bursting into flames. His injuries were so severe, Lauda was given the last rites. When I came to the hospital, you know, you, you feel a kind of very you very you feel like you are very tired, and you would like to go and sleep. But you know, you know, it's not just going sleeping; it's something else. Yet, not only did he survive, Lauda was back behind the wheel just two races later. And despite extensive burns, he went on to complete the season in a specially adapted helmet. He lost out on that 1976 title to his longtime rival James Hunt by just a single point. Twelve months later, he was world champion again for Ferrari, but then departed for an unsuccessful spell with Team Brabham. He retired in 1979, but would return to take another world title in 1984 with McLaren, before retiring for good. Successful in business off the track too, Lauda founded Austrian airline Lauda Air in 1979, but always maintained his involvement with motorsport, serving with Ferrari, Jaguar and Mercedes, where he helped sign a young Lewis Hamilton, who'd go on to win four championships with the team. The effects of that 1976 crash, though, were life-lasting. Lauda underwent a lung transplant last August, but his family said he passed away peacefully yesterday at the age of 70.